Hey guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelves for the weekend of May 4th. Um, I did get four books this week. Two of them were books I got through Kindle Unlimited, so I'll go through those first. Um, the first one I got through Kindle Unlimited was, I apologize for the glare here, Steel and Stone by Annette Marie. This is kind of the sixth book in the Steel and Stone series. It's more of um, like a companion novel where there's lots of little stories. And I actually thought it was going to be short stories. It really wasn't. It was basically chapters from the previous five books in the series from either Lear's or Ash's point of view. So if you haven't read the previous books, you won't understand what's going on. This is definitely a companion to the series that you'd read after you read the series, because it also contains spoilers for, you know, the series itself. So I don't know. It was okay. Um, some of it was fun to read, especially the ones from Ash's point of view. I really enjoyed his character in the series. So there's that. The other one I got through Kindle Unlimited that I borrowed is Game of Lies by Pippa da Costa. This is the second book in the Messenger Chronicle series. This is labeled as like a science fiction fantasy paranormal series, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, it's in set in a science fiction world where the Fae created all the other life forms and um, kind of are trying to take over the universe. And so there's a lot of science fiction action. Um, there's been a little bit of romance, but it's very slow moving, which I believe they label this as a slow burn reverse harem paranormal science fiction fantasy. <laughs> so it's a lot of description, but I did enjoy it. I really like the world and I've been enjoying the characters and it's kind of just a fun, like paranormal urban fantasy feel read set in a science fiction universe. So I've been reading a lot of science fiction lately. I'm not really sure why that just is happens to be what I'm picking up. So those are the two I got through Kindle Unlimited. And as I mentioned, um, that is, it's a $9.99 subscription fee a month. And so far it's been worth it to me. Um, I'm filming this on May 1st and, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm filling this on May 1st and I ended up buying about 25, well, borrowing about $25 worth of books through Kindle Unlimited. So at least for April, it was worth it for me. I'll continue tracking that for another couple months and see if it's, you know, worth it. Um, and then I did get two books for review from Amazon Vine. I did get these from the Amazon Vine leftovers um, kind of pile or collection. So they all, they are out or will shortly be out. Um, this one came out in February and it's Break the Bodies, Haunt the Bones by Micah Dean Hicks. And it's about a place where people's ghosts like haunt them all the time. Like literally people from their past haunt them. Um, it sounded kind of neat and I, it just kind of unique. So I picked it up to read. It's not, not super long. Um, yeah, but I got that through Amazon Vine. And then this one sounded interesting. It comes out in May. And it's called The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. And it's about kind of a alternate virtual reality Disney princess like world <laughs> or something like that. Uh, it sounded really interesting. It sounded a little bit like people have said it's kind of like Westworld, but in like a Disney princess kind of way, maybe. <laughs> Uh, the description was enough to intrigue me, and so I am I got it. Again, not a super long book. It uh, should be a pretty quick read, and I believe it's a young adult one. Yeah, ages 14 to 18. So young adult, um, science fiction, fantasy, alternate reality type of thing. So again, those were the, the four books I got this week. Uh, two from Amazon Vine for review, and then The Steel and Stone Companion and Game of Lies through the Kindle Unlimited subscription. Um, other than that, I am changing stuff a little bit on YouTube and trying to be a little bit more finished with my videos. I am trying to put in an intro and a thumbnail and stuff like that. And I'll try to do more content and make it more consistent. Um, if anybody has any suggestions for what they would like to see on the on my YouTube channel as I try to grow it out a little bit, let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, you know, you notice I'm wearing like a coat and stuff. It has been pretty chilly here still in Minnesota. We are in the 40s. Well, yeah, low 40s. We never really did get snow. They were saying snow last week. We never really got that. Um, 
it was just cold. It's just been, you know, in the 30s to 40s, and that's kind of cold for me. Uh, again, you just never know. You could have days in 30s, days in the 90s. They could be next to each other. You just never know. But it's going to be chilly. It's been basically dreary, rainy in the low 40s, and that's what's going to be all week long. This weekend, it, you know, it, hopefully it'll warm up a little bit, but whatever. So much for being on disability and having beautiful weather outside to go hang out in. Um, I am finally posting the series on my hysterectomy. The first video on that went up a couple days ago, kind of like, why was I going in to have this hysterectomy? I think my recovery is going pretty well. I'm still having kind of random pains, um, but I think it's been getting better. I know my energy has been getting better. I haven't had to nap during the day and, um, you know, just... I still have to be really careful. I can't do too much, just too much. I just can't do too much. So I'm a little bit concerned about going back. I go back to work in a week and a half. And I'm a little concerned about the fact that I'm still getting so just physically worn out um, from like even walking around the block. But that will just, I'll just have to push through and it'll come back. So that's how that is going. Hopefully long term, it will be worth it. Um, you know, I... This surgery, the hysterectomy surgery, even though it was a much more major surgery than my gallbladder surgery, I feel like the recovery has been a lot smoother than it was when I had my gallbladder surgery. But I had a lot of health issues going on when I had my gallbladder surgery. So I had been sick for quite a while because of that. And I was not in good shape when I went into that surgery. So I think going into the surgery healthier and, you know, has just helped the recovery a lot. So that's it. As I said, I am going to be doing, um, I've been doing weekly videos on recovering from the surgery and how everything went. Um, that's more in depth and those will start posting. The first one is going to post or post a couple days ago and then I'll post them probably every few days after that. Uh, so if you're really interested in that and you're having similar types of issues, maybe you can watch that and it'll help. I don't know. So that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys got a lot of great books and that you have a great week of reading ahead of you. Um, I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye.